Hey you and welcome to my channel. My name is Tina and my aim is to improve your drawings just like others have done for me when I just started out. I already have a few videos online about animal eyes but I thought it was time that I tackled a horse's eye. I also used pan pastels for a change to build my underlayer. Now if you are using pencils or soft pastel sticks you would achieve a very similar result. So by now I added some white in the corner and then first a light brown which I'm covering now with a darker shade. I started off way too light, luckily this is very easy to fix with pastels. Then on the right side where the two eyelids meet I'm adding dark grey. I'm also using this as I go down on the left side of the eye. On the left side I use a warm brown but since a little bit of that dark grey is still on my sponge I start off with a blend of the two. So there where I want to be more warm brown color, I just go over it again. Like I just mentioned I'm using the same color a lot. And you can see it starts out quite vibrant and to mute it back down I'll go with my soft tool in the darker colors that are already there and I drag this out. This way I get a little bit of a muted tone. The parts where I want it to stay vibrant and bright I'll just make sure that I don't blend any other colors in. I also use the same soft tool to blend the colors out a bit more and to make sure I've pushed the pastel into the paper. I'm going to start on the middle of the eye. I'm just using black here to encircle the eye. Here in the middle it's helpful to tilt your tool to the side to get in a smaller stripe. The pupil itself is again black but I'm using a dark brown around it. It's very helpful that you've got an accurate line art for this since it really helps building the right colors. I'm also blending the two a little bit together. Next to this it's an even lighter color of brown. And quite peculiar, normally you would expect a white plane for the highlight, here that isn't the case. I'm first putting in some grey and a little bit of dark blue. Only the small circle that you still see a little bit will have a light color. In the corner I still need to add a horse bridle which isn't a lot of work. Next up I'm going to start refining this with my pencils. But before I do that, if you like this video so far, why not subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on any of my future videos. By now I've already added in the white strokes and I'm just beginning the next part. Here I'm using an orange tone. Just remember that you need to adjust your strokes to your subject. In a second I'll be adding a darker color next to this quite bright orange. So to get a smooth transition, I'm just adding a few strokes with a darker shade of orange. This will make the transition between the two colors look more natural. In the orange part, I'm also adding a few black strokes to darken it up a little bit already. Like I said before, here I'm switching to a darker color that I'll use as a base underneath the orange. Just to make sure it's a bit darker. I think I use the same orange here, but if you are having trouble with picking your colors, I would suggest you try to color pick your colors. This might be helpful. I also add some of these very bright strokes underneath the eye. I am just pushing this in the paper a bit with my finger and in the meantime I am just muting them back down. Just like what I did on the left side, I'll also add in some dark strokes to darken it up a bit. But since I'll be adding quite a few, I'm using a dark brown instead of black, otherwise it would be too harsh. I'll also use this color to add some fur on other places. On the bottom side I'm using really short strokes. And for the upper part I'll switch up the length and more importantly I'll be adding a lot of curve as I'm following the contours of the eye. While I'm adding these strokes, in case you didn't already know, I send out a newsletter each month where I give you a recap of what I've been up to and more importantly, each month you'll also receive 4 reference pictures from me. By now I started adding in some white strokes. Again, these are quite short and not as much as the layer underneath. I also muted these back down a bit since they were a little bit too bright. After the layer of white I put on another layer but this time with a bright orange. Next up I'll start on my favorite part, the eye. So for this I'll first darken up the parts that need to be darker, this way it's much easier to assess the other values. When you do this on your eyelids, just make sure to keep some lighter tone in the middle, otherwise this will be way too flat. I'm also darkening the blue part a little bit but not too much. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a bold color to the eye and go quite bright. In a second I'll just blend this out and because of all the darker shades underneath it immediately becomes less vibrant. Now I'm going to build the eye up a little bit more with black. I'll darken it up some more and I'll also add some random lines. This will help build the iris. After I blended this layer I'll be adding another but this time with brown 
and it's quite light compared to the other colors. And then I'll repeat this again but with that orange you've already seen so frequently. After this I'll darken it up again, but this time I'm using my black pencil from Color because I find this one to be the darkest black that I've ever found. For my highlights I'm first using a dark grey, I'll also add these in a more random pattern on the left side. And for the really bright highlight I use a light grey. The highlight in the eye is also a mix of a darker grey and a lighter grey. Again this is a more striped pattern just like in the iris. I'll be adding a few more layers to the iris until I'm happy with how it looks. I thought it was a little bit too bright and I wanted to adjust it, just using the same steps though. And then for the final step in the eye I'll be adding some highlights there as well with that bright orange which brings everything perfectly together. Now the eyelids also have some fur on them so I need to put these in. I'll just use a grey and use really short strokes. The part on the right that's next to the eye is darker, so I'll build this up with grey, dark brown and then a little bit of light orange. If you haven't guessed by now, this color by Sabilo is one of my favorites when it comes to animals. In this case I do need to darken it up a bit more, so I'm just going over this one more time. Then to finish this up I still need to get in the right side. This will pretty much be the same as what I've done up till now. The only difference is that I'll be using more red and orange tones to build up the fur here. On a personal note, I do find short fur a little bit more challenging than longer fur, especially if you're a beginner. With longer fur you can focus a little bit more on clumps of fur, whereas here you need to build up the fur with multiple layers of short strokes. Now I'm really coming to the final stages and I just need to add in the part of the brittle on the right side. As I'm doing this, thank you for watching, I hope it has been helpful up till now. If you have any questions or remarks, make sure to add them in the comments below. Next week I'll be back with a new video, hope to see you then and in the meantime have a great week.